It is old. All right, 2003? Yeah. It's craziness. It's having a Tumblr account. <laughs> Make posts about how oppressed it is <coughs> in the Western world. Uh, don't even start. I don't even remember 40 we last hours. Left off. We last left off, we picked up Mythos and the village here burned to the ground. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we go back in? Oh, let's, let's be, be friends. friends. <laughs> Mythos, you live by yourself, right? That's well, right. What do you do now? <laughs> they're, where are your mother and father? They both died. Or they're both dead. Just like mine. Really? We're kind of alike, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I think we could be good friends. We both have blue eyes. We're both <laughs> orphans. Friends? Really? Yeah, let's be friends, okay? It's like fucking... Hey, your parents died? Mine died, mine died too! Besties! <laughs> uh, I know when you really think about yeah, it, it's like... Explore the town now? Everything's coming up oh. genus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> everything's coming up genus. Mythos here. Oh, okay. I get to go on a field trip. I got a new best like friend. I'm gonna get Mythos. girlfriend. <laughs> I'm glad he hasn't had any friends his, uh, his own age. That's true. And his name Mythos is same that is uh, same as that of the hero of the ancient war. The hero <laughs> yeah, that's Mythos a wonderful name. of the ancient war. He's certainly a great man, but I'm not Mythos. Well, no, you're Lloyd. So the way I do things is going to be different, but I still want to save the world. Just like Mythos. Okay. Alright, Lloyd. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn what? it. What? That stupid Gundam or whatever oh, anime where the, it's like... Go to the other side, can we see the rest they're of They're wondering why the fucking dude has like a whole bunch of swords. Oh, it just comes back here. I can't even remember the whole quote, just something about how like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you showed the me power, that. Then... <laughs> You're strong, so why yeah. not hold as much power as you can? Uh, or whatever. So yeah, I don't know what we need to do now. Uh, well, we still have other places to go. We can do the Shadow Temple if we want. Are we ready for that? I don't know. I had a oh. game plan. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, okay. So we go, need to go to Altessa's house. Like, I totally lost my links on my phone because I buried it saving other stuff. Oh, yeah. The, uh, I guess we still have to get the rest of the spirit summons and stuff. Yeah, we're still in the middle of that, but... <sighs> yeah. This is back on... on I still didn't Silver Ant. fucking... I lost uh, the map for this one asshole place, which we're probably gonna hit soon. Uh, let's see. Let's oh, see we go to the Flying where. Island. But we gotta go talk to Altessa. I don't even remember where he's at. That's... that's Mizuho, right? I fucking don't know. You know... So what it's happens these things when we don't weird. fucking play that much that yeah. often? Oh, so apparently, um... We can stay for free at the Chief's house here in Mizuho. Oh, shit! Until, until we... Are we fully healed? Not really. Fuck it, let's do it. But apparently there's, eventually, where there's like a side quest you can do for the chief, and once you start that, then you can't stay here anymore. For free. What about when you finish? I don't know. He didn't say, he didn't mention. Just talk to the bed. I have to talk to him. If we hear anything else that may be useful to you, we'll let you know. Good. So, wait, this is the chief's house, right? Yeah. So how do we stay here? Do it in the comments. The secret of Azette. Why did Cruxus attack Ozette? Crucius! Stop that! <laughs> Maybe it's because the village hated half elves. If that's all it was, it seemed, oh, I, I tend to think it was more incidental. What do you mean? They may have been searching for something, or perhaps something they wanted to hide. Uh oh. Oh shit, is your controller dead? Dead. Fuck. Alright, after this, we'll get some batteries. Oh. It's very possible Ozette may contain some sort of secret. Oh yeah. Joy got no. Fuck. Alright. Good. Gotta get some batteries. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. <laughs> well, we got the government. Oh, and true. Jesus. You're never alone. 
<laughs> Jesus is always in the room with you. Don't touch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you get tired. Anyway, I was kind of even mean? waiting to uh, record this for I got my cables in. Well, I got some Euroscart cables in. And then I learned that the adapter that comes with the FrameMeister device is compatible only with uh, what's called a J21 cable, which is Japanese SCART, which is has a slightly different pin layout and they're not compatible. But also apparently even though it's compatible with J21, J21 is even like hard to find in Japan. Harder to find than Euroscart. So I don't know why it would come with that cable. So I ordered the adapter, so it's probably going to be another week before that comes in. Uh, he kept mentioning another Wonder Chef that we missed. It's either in that building or in the Chiefs building, because there's only two buildings. No, I mean, like, just in general. It's not, not in Mizuho. I forgot where. Oh, he said uh, in that one church we were at... Where they're like, there's this weird bell off in the corner, and you're like, oh, is that a Wonder Chef? And we tried to click on it, and... Did you open that? Oh. I guess oh. I can. When did, when did we get this? Whee! <laughs> I'm, I'm we the navigator! To, what's Altessa's house? Altessa's oh, right yeah, there. right there. Let's... Wait, are we the... Are we the red or the white? Oh, it's probably right the red. Oh, it was literally right outside of where we ended up. <sighs> what? <laughs> Why do you do that? Why do I do what? Why are you like this? I was a craftsman who worked for Crucius. So you're on the side of the angels, Yggdrasil. You know Lord Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil? You know him? He wiped the floor with our faces! Because of him, Silverant and Tetheala were twisted into worlds that fight for each other's mana. Nuh uh. No. That's a crucious crystal. See, you must be the chosen of the declining world. This may be fate. What happened to Ozette was my fault. What do you mean? I came to hate the work I did for it. For it was indirectly taking people's lives. I ran from Crucius and hid myself in Ozette. But I was found by a desire named Rodile. Fuck Rodile. He ordered me to create a Crucius crystal in exchange for my life. So that means that the research on Persea was organized by Rodile and the Pope. Who then had you and Kate carry it out? Right, Rodile, while a design in service of Crucius, was also planning to revolt against Crucio. Because I supported him in that, Lord Dressel grew angry and he... He destroyed the town of Ozette, which had protected me. So this is how Persea... This girl who reflects my distant memories. This is how she was caught up in this. This is terrible beyond words. A very cryptic. Sorry. You never apologize enough, but apologizing is all I can do now. My time will not come back. The people of the village and daddy will not come back. Say it. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Even if you apologize, I can't forgive you right now. Okay, okay I'll just fuck off then. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. For say, I believe your loss has been great. Please do not lose yourself as well. Oh, I just not noticed Mythos is in the cutscene here. I can understand Perseus' feelings a little. Some things never come back. Like my parents! <laughs> even if he apologizes, even if you want to forgive, you can't control those feelings. Not being forgiven, that may be the punishment. I don't think that's right. Forgiving or not, forgiving isn't a punishment. I can't really explain it well, but... 
Shut up, Lloyd. Ah, well. Anyway, let's not get into a philosophical discussion right now. Rosea doesn't need to force herself to forgive him or anything. Let's just think about what we can do now. Yes, you're right. As for me, I think we should take this opportunity to ask Altessa all he knows about Crucius. We currently don't have enough information, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Rosea, would you rather wait here? No, I'll listen as well. That's why one of my favorite episodes of Avatar the Last Ever in, uh, uh, Airbender is the one where Zuko and Katara hunt down the fucking southern raiders that, like, kidnapped Katara's mom. Oh, yeah! Because that whole episode, yeah. like, for the entire buildup of the fourth season, Zuko is trying to be like, Hey, guys, I'm totally a good guy now. Yeah. And, like, everyone else is kind of giving him a benefit of the doubt. But Katara's like... You fucking just look at Aang wrong. I'm killing you. <laughs> like, she basically outright says, you will yeah. fucking get killed. Yeah. And when they get to the part where they first get on the, uh, like, the first boat they find after finding the records and shit. Yeah. They find the new captain of the Southern Raiders and she fucking bloodbends him. And Zuko is just like, oh, shit. <laughs> she was not kidding. She really would have fucking killed me. <laughs> and that whole episode, she does not forgive the dude's killer. She fucking is like, I don't forgive him. I forgive Zuko now, because he actually proved his loyalty, but... Yeah. And well, it's like, I like that, because it's like, you don't have to forgive someone that has done something that wrong to you. Right. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay to not forgive people. I mean, obviously it, killing them isn't going to bring them back either, right. which she but, realized. Yeah, I but, think people just have this, this thing where it's like, you either... You either forgive them or you're gonna hold a grudge that's gonna eat away, and it's like no, or you could just do neither. Yeah. Don't forgive them, but just then move then move on. Yeah, you, you can still hate someone forever. It doesn't have to yeah, consume exactly. you. I know I hate that shit. That's that's on the that's on the same level as like Look, I know your father's a racist asshole, and I know he shot your dog, and I know he ran over a cat, and I know he beat you for ten years, but he's your father. He's blood. You gotta forgive him. You gotta no, love him. It's like, fuck no, that. You don't fuck that. You don't know anything to your family. You don't get to choose your family. Yeah, fuck that. Why is he here? I don't know. Talk to him. Is this the one we fed yeah, spicy stuff? You people see my big brother? What the? What are you talking about? You've met him, Lloyd. My big brother ain't back, so I'm looking for him. Actually, your brother has already gone home. Really? 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 Now they're probably looking for you. You should go back home. Really? I'm going home. Oh, whoops! <laughs> this fucking. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I have to go back to that fucking <laughs> nomlet cave? <laughs> Don't and know. talk to him or something? What was the point of that? Do you have business with me? You just talked outside. Can you tell us about Crucius? It'll be a long story. That's okay. We got time. There's like four chairs there. <laughs> this is a cutscene? Oh, it's not voice dang. Turn up just a little bit. Crucius is an organization made up almost entirely of half elves. There are a large number of dwarves besides me involved as well. Oh, so there are more dwarves other than him, yeah, despite him, the him and Lloyd's father. <laughs> Where the fuck are they? Well, a large number of them are involved in a company. <laughs> yeah, where? Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> so there are other dwarves besides you and my dad? <laughs> <laughs> Their objectives are to begin the Age of Half-Elves and the revival of Martell. For that purpose, they make use of the Church of Martell, try and fuse the Chosen with Martell's consciousness. But if that's true, then why did the Designs try to kill the Chosen? X-Spheres and Crucius Crystals awaken when stimulated by people's fear and suffering, also by their combat instincts. That is why the Designs disrupt the declining world, in order to facilitate the Angel Transformation. They deliberately put the Chosen in danger. Oh. Dial, what is he scheming? The revival of the Mana Cannon. He obtained the plans to the Mana Cannon somehow in constructing in Silver Ant. He's also the master of his own ranch. It's likely he's using his captives to the construction of the cannon. 
most of it's complete. He's probably intends to build his own empire. How can he make everyone suffer for such a thing? Say, then, is it true that Yggdrasil made the two worlds? Well, that's how I heard it. That he anchored the two worlds which are never to come in contact. We have four mana links placed in the great seed in the center between them to guard it. The great seed? Never heard that before. It comes up in the stories of the hero Mythos. That's what people called the soul of Mythos who died on the holy ground of Harlan after the, uh, the close of the ancient war. Wait a minute, that's true, but... Why does the same legend of Mythos from Silverant also exist here? Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> I've been wondering about this for a while now. He's been wondering about it for a while. Well, it's like, well, what I do you think? I never noticed you can actually see their x on his hand. Yeah. Like, I guess I've never been close enough to actually see it until now. Yeah, it's fucking dumb. He's like, oh my god, I'm just now figuring out. It's like, <laughs> alright. Your lore says that this dude basically made two planets. Yeah. Uh, both planets are going to have that same lore. <laughs> I mean, they have the same chosen thing, they have the same Church of Martell, they have yeah. the same Tower of Salvation. There are two holy grounds of Carlin, two Towers of Salvation, and now the Legend of Mythos is the same too? Duh. It seems it's possible to travel between the two worlds at their poles. I don't know where those poles would be, but perhaps that person we know as Mythos used that to travel between the worlds? Bipolar! Yes, that's it, like a magnet. I love that Zelos over there is like, Yeah, I know that word! <laughs> <laughs> Professor, what is it? This is my theory. Perhaps the ancient war was in fact a war between Tethiala and Silverant. And the hero Mythos arranged a truce that ended the war. So that would be why the legend of Mythos exists in both worlds. Yes, and we as and if we assume that uh, one of the two poles is the Holy Ground of Harlan, we can understand the meaning of the existence of two Holy Grounds. That's the door between the two worlds. Yes, that makes sense. I heard many ideas regarding the bipolar structure of the worlds, but yours works from a logical standpoint. What other ideas have there been? There's been a legend passed down in Altamira about something called the Otherworldly Gate. Some say that that <laughs> that that is a pole. The Otherworldly Gate. So what is the Great Seed? I don't know that either. But Lord Yggdrasil said that there might be... Uh, it was more important than his life. I can't wrap my head around all this stuff at once. Tell us everything you need to know. Here's everything you need to know. <laughs> it's too much! It's too much! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all must be tired by now. Why don't you have a rest here for the night? Mythos, <laughs> right? If you don't have anywhere else to stay, you should stay here at my place for a he's while. He's with the group. Of course right. he's going to sure? stay. sure? That's okay. I'm a half-elf. The only ones living here are Tabitha and I, oh, ta or, or Tabitha, who I made, and me, a dwarf. You made Tabitha? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tabitha is an automated doll. So having a half elf here isn't a problem at all. That's why she Tabitha speaks in all caps. She's a doll? She's a robot. Okay. Stay here for the night, too. It's a good thing he has those four beds. Is that okay with you, Persea? Please don't worry about me. And I shall prepare dinner. No. <laughs> I love it when people, like, when they animate like that, where they move faster than their steps are taking them, so, like, the feet are, like, just sliding across the floor. Then tonight, Genus and Rain will be here, too, right? Yeah, let's play together. You're the first half-elf friend I've had. You'll be my friend. You've already had this conversation. No, skits aren't the same. Ah, of course. <laughs> Then what are they? For flavor. If they're not part of the story. Because it's for flavor. It's in the background. <laughs> <laughs>